Hi, my name is Taryn Darby, and I'm an avid engineer, producer, and instructor. Today I'm here at Sweetwater Sound, and I'd like to show you a couple advantages of using Ableton Live with your Pro Tools sessions. A really cool feature that you can add into your Pro Tools sessions or in Ableton Live workflow is its ability to convert audio to MIDI. Now the first example I'll give here is I'll have a general beat, has a kick, hat, and snare, a little clap. Okay. In order to convert an audio clip to MIDI, you simply right click on it. In this first example, what I'm going to do is, I really like this performance, I really like the sample, and I just want to be able to replay it into some type of new production. So I'll use Slice to New MIDI Track. What this does is it, it actually cuts the sample into transients and places it on a pad for me instantaneously. It created a new MIDI track. I still have the same sound source, which is the original sample, and I can replay it. Now, always remember that inside Pro Tools, you can come over here and assign an instrument track to that MIDI and replay it in any of your performances. I think that's a really cool feature to offer, and it happens really quickly, which in past, it takes us a long time to do something like that. So the next really nice feature that Ableton Live offers you is it allows you to not only chop the sample up and allow you to re-perform it, but it actually will extract the performance from an audio clip. In order to do that, you right click on the clip and go to convert drums to new MIDI track. Now what this is doing is it actually will take the performance and extract it from an audio sample and allow me to have that as MIDI data. That's pretty amazing. Now as you see here, I have the hit, the kick, the clap, each one already on my samples onto a different sound source. Now I find that really cool in modern day production. Just to show you its accuracy, I'll play the original and I'll play the new one with a 707 drum kit. It's pretty right on. So to take that a step further, they actually have a new feature that I really like a lot and I can actually take harmonies that have chordal information in them and transcribe that into MIDI as well. So what I have here is like a poly sound, it's like a, like a stab. And what I'm going to do here is right click on the clip and convert harmony to new MIDI track. I find this amazing. So once it converts the, the poly sample, it creates a new MIDI track for me and it defaults to your choice of instruments. In this case, I'm using a grand piano. So this is the first sound, the original sound, and this is the new MIDI sound. I find that truly amazing because you can actually use the chordal information and extract the performance from an audio clip. Now, if you want, you can actually go to Ableton's instrument section and choose a different instrument for this MIDI at any given time. Or you could export this MIDI and use it in your Pro Tools session for some of the virtual instruments inside Pro Tools. So have fun creating, and if you have any additional questions, call your Sweetwater sales engineer.